Thank you for taking time to learn about gravel lock. We offer two types of liquid, amber and we have the clear, which is UV stable. Today we're going to install a gravel lock porous stone paving system using the mixing method. This method is a better process than the pouring method. It ensures that gravel lock gets over all the stones. Mark out the shape of your patio, allowing a couple inches for over excavation. Excavate out approximately five to six inches from surface. And remember, call Miss Utility before every dip. This gravel lock job is going to be bordered in with a manufactured concrete paver set in concrete. We split wall block to make our edging stone. We want this edge to look natural, so what we're doing is taking a chisel and roughing up the outer edge of the stones. Lay out all your edging stones to make sure you have enough. This patio needs a step going from one surface to another. We are installing several large stepping stone. Before we pour concrete for the curbing, we need to mark out areas where piping needs to go. These are called sleeves. Prepare for irrigation, lighting, electrical, etc. We're ready to install the curbing. Mix concrete in a mixer or a wheelbarrow. Our blocks are three inches tall. We are going to set them in about two to three inches of concrete, making sure concrete's on both sides holding the block in place. The grade needs to go on the subgrade instead of the surface. Allow one inch of grade away from structure per 10 feet. And on the sidewalks, you need to find the lowest end and grade everything to the corner. Make sure all sleeves and drainage pipe is in before you start the next process. Now it's time to compact the subgrade. You want to make sure the flatter it is, the better the water can drain to the low side. This house has a basement. When installing permeable surfaces, you need to put a moisture barrier up against the house four foot away so no water leaks in the basement. Now you're going to install SF40 geotextile fabrics. We like a non-woven geotextile fabric. Be sure to overlap and wrap all sides. We are installing a four inch LSG load support grid. Expand your load support grid, starting at one end of the job and stretching it to the other side, lining it up with an edge. Pull tight and overcut using a razor knife. Sometimes spikes are used to hold it open, but since we have a moisture barrier against the house here, we are going to fill in with stone to hold the grid so we can pull tight. Lay out the next piece of LSG. It is important to staple the grids in the proper space. If you line up the pre-engineered holes and put a staple parallel with the holes, you are creating a weld. There are two ways of connecting LSG. The top and bottom of the grid, you will line up the pre-engineered holes again and create a weld in the center by using a stapler. Be sure to infill your grid with the proper aggregates. We're using a number 8 stone. This stone is 3 8 inch in size, angular. Fill the LSG load support grid approximately an inch over top. Rough grade out approximately an inch and a half from top surface. And for large areas, I like to use an asphalt rake and some string line. A very important process is compaction. The stronger the foundation, the better the overall structure will be. The goal is 95% compaction. After compacting for the first time, you will need to adjust. There will be areas that get compacted down and you'll need to add more gravel. So we're doing an inch and a half of mixed gravel lock pebbles. This is where we're going to want to be as accurate as we can so the adjustment layer is important. Rinse the number eight stones off. This ensures a better bond when we use gravel lock with gravel lock pebbles. Gravel lock will drip off the gravel lock pebbles, 
and bond to this surface. The cleaner the stone, the better the bond. After you rinse off entire subgrade, now you can compact one more time, trying to get the surface as level as possible. We are going to lay flagstone in the patio area and fill the joints in with gravel lock. If you have trouble adjusting stones, a little mortar can be used under them. It still remains pervious. Gravel lock pebbles come in 50 pound bag, 2,000 pound super sacks, and 3,000 pound super sacks. They've been pre-washed, dried, and are ready to mix. Comes in four natural colors and four custom colors. Just ask your local dealer for pricing. Acetones will dilute gravel lock enough for you to wipe it off, your tools and any surfaces that you get it on. The ratio you need to mix is one five gallon bucket of gravel to about 16 to 18 ounces of gravel lock. One gallon of gravel lock will do 30 square feet at an inch and a half thick. We chose to use the UV stable clear gravel lock. The first mix of the day might require a little more gravel lock. Use a pan or a bucket and have some acetone ready. Place the gravel lock pebbles on the base course between your stepping stones. Try not to get them on the surface of the stepping stones. You need to trowel out and compact gravel lock pebbles in the place you want them to be. Make sure that the finish you put on the top is what you want. If you have highs and lows, it'll harden that way. Allow gravel lock to cure for at least 24 hours before doing your final step. The last step we want to do is called a roll coat. This will ensure the gravel lock pebbles on top for an extra bond. Clean surface of debris and fix any area you do not like. You are going to need a paint roller and some gravel lock, acetone, and a pair of gloves. Use a small roller to roll coat in between the stones. Try not to get any on top of the stones. While doing this process, you will get a little on a corner of a stone. That's why we use acetone. Acetone will dilute the product. Soak a rag by putting a little puddle of acetone on top of the spill. Then wipe off with a clean side of the rag. You might have to do this process twice. Do not pour acetone on the spill because acetone will drip off into your gravel lock, weakening the system. Allow 24 hours for gravel lock to dry before applying a roll coat. It takes one gallon of gravel lock to roll coat 100 square feet. A roll coat puts a double bond on the surface stones where they touch each other. It is recommended to do this process every six to eight years. In high traffic areas, you might need to do this process sooner. You want to use a medium nap roller and put thin layers on. Remember, you can always go back and add more. Too much is a waste of material. When you're finished with this process, clean up your tools, allow 24 hours for dry time. And please remember to be safe wearing respirators, gloves, eye protection, and read the MSDS before venturing into gravel lock systems. Safety's first. Remember, we want to be safe doing any projects. Celtech wants to thank you for your time and the interest of Gravel Lock. www.celtechdirect.com